By the end of this video, you will learn how to add this autocomplete widget within your app. So first, let's create some dummy data of users which contains an image from Unsplash and name which I am generating from the Fakers package. This users object is simply a class with name and image URL property. And by the way, for more real world use case, you can populate this data variable by using some sort of API from your backend. Now add an autocomplete widget with type of user, which takes a required field of option builder. So let's add an option builder. Here we get an text editing value, which is the value that we enter inside the text field. So here we will check that if the text editing value dot text dot is empty is true, then we will return an empty list. If it's not, then we will look into the data variable by calling the where method. In it, we will look that the given user dot name dot lowercase dot contains the text editing value dot text. This will basically return the list of users whose name matches with the text editing value. Now on save, we will see a text field. Here, when we type something, we are getting instance of users in our suggestions, which we will fix and show a user profile and name. But first, let's customize this text field. To do so, add a field view builder which takes couple of arguments like the build context, text editing controller, focus node, and an on field submit callback, and returns a widget which is a text field widget. So first, we'll return a text field widget and then add a controller, focus node, on editing complete callback, and for customization, add decoration with an input decoration property and give it a hint text of search by name. Now to customize the UI of the options list, add the option view builder and give it a context on select callback which will get called when we select any given options and the users list that we are returning from the options builder. In it we will return a material widget with a child of list view dot separated, give it some padding and item count of users dot length, then add a separator builder which returns a divider and then in the item builder we will get the user from the users list dot element at the given indexed then return a list style with a title of username and then add a leading equal to image dot network and give it a users dot image url with given width and height and box fit of cover and with this we are pretty much done here now when we save the app we can see that the autocomplete is pretty much done we get the suggestions as we type and that is working pretty awesome but when we select the user, we get this instance of users in our text field. So to fix that, first let's add the on select callback here. That is the callback which get passed here in the options view builder. Now inside this callback, we can save the selected user, update the state or do anything that we want with the selected user. Then add the display string for options which returns the user name from the given user to show the user name when we select instead of this instance of users. Now hot restart the application and the autocomplete should be working perfectly. And that's it for this video and let us know in the comments if you were looking for something like this or how this can be helpful to you. We will love to hear this. Thank you.